Okay, uh, hello. In this video, I was going to go through and do the merge key sorted list problem, which leak code reckons is hard. Um, I don't reckon it's hard, unless I'm being a complete melt, in which case I'll soon find out. Um, so, all, all this problem really is is an extension of the merge two sorted list problem, where I've got a series of linked lists, and I need to end up with a linked list where all the elements are in, in this case, ascending order. Um, and the, the problem with this, of course, is that I can't just go through uh, each one and say, oh, pick this one, pick this one, and then put it into the list as I do it. I've got to go through all of them in a reasonable way, or I could do a sort of merge sort. There is, there is a way of doing this, I think, um, using something called a priority queue, and that's the approach I'm going to take, I think. So if we... Uh, Go to the old terminal, uh, get this up. That did not go well. Set paste. That's a bit nicer. Uh, so let's have a look at this. So um, what do we need to do? Well, first we need to basically create a point to the node we're going to use. We'll start off with uh, null. And then we can use, in Java, we can use a comparator. So let's import a comparator uh, with the priority queue. So you can do Java. These are in the util package, both of them. So do comparator and uh, priority q. Christ, I can't spell. Um, and then we need to say create a priority q. I know, call it q new priority q. And then we'll give it a, a comparator. And it needs to be reverse order because what we're going to do is put everything in there and then get it all out in ascending order. And we'll use the poll method to get everything out. Uh, so this will be reverse order. I think I'm right on this anyway. And then we just need to do a cheeky little for loop. So in i is equal to zero, i is less than lists. Dot length and then i plus plus bloody hell oh, that's annoying I'm really fighting against the editor here oh, okay and then we need to take the node from uh, lists i and then within the for loop we want to do a while loop which is um while node is not null. So essentially, we're going to go through every element in the first node like this and do uh, q add node val. And then you want to do node is equal to node next, it's called. So what's going to happen, we'll go through the first list, we'll go through every element in that call in node next, that will eventually hit null, and then we'll go to the next loop in the for loop. Um, so we'll get through every element and have every element in the priority queue. And then what do we need to do? Well, we just need to get everything out of the priority queue. The way we can do that is we can do var val q poll, get the first value if it's there, and then do while uh, val is not equal to null. Um, we need to do node is equal to list, new list node, give it the val, and we've also got this um, second thing I've noticed here, which means it's really easy to sort of add the next node, you just add itself to the node, um, and then we just need to do val equals q.poll again, and that will make that null eventually. And when that happens, we exit the while loop and we just return node. I think that'll work. Unless I'm a complete melt. Go on, see if this works. Go on. Balls, I am a complete melt. What have I done? What? What are you talking about, Willis? Oh! I haven't told the priority key what the um, type is. There you go. 
That should shut up now. No, it hasn't. Do I just do this? And stop being a melt? Go on, work. No, it's doing something funny. Uh, oh, I haven't actually added it. No, I was right. I was right. I just haven't taken it from Vim. Boom. And let's see if it actually works for the full submission because there'll be some odd case that I haven't considered yet. No, it works. Cool. Well, that was easy. Um, so that is um, merging case sorted lists with a priority queue. So uh, that's roughly O of n times n time because we have to go through every list. And that, so, so where we've got like let's say we've got five lists and each of them have got five elements we need to go through every single list once and then we need to go through every element in each of the lists so we need to so it's a case of um that's roughly the time complexity of it uh so what how does this work well first thing you do we want a pointer to that node that we're going to return so we're going to build a li link list we build a priority queue that's in reverse order. That means that we put something in, and it's gonna, it's gonna. Um, when we when we poll it, we're gonna get the smallest element out, and then we keep going, and progressively building up um, further in the linked list. Uh, this bit is literally just building up that set of elements in the priority queue, and it's iterating through all of the lists. So it goes through list one first. So in this case, we go through this list here um, and then as soon as we hit um, null value of next so we go this this will eventually be null it will make this null so we'll exit out of the while loop we'll then go to the next iteration of the for loop and keep doing that until we run out of um, lists in the for loop once we've done that we first call q.poll because it is possible that we could have been given an empty list and there's nothing in poll so we store the value here and then check that it's not null if it's null then just return null or whatever um, in this case this isn't null so we keep going through here and we say that the node that we're going to return is equal to a new node that has um, the value we want with um, itself as the next node and from there we then just get the next element and eventually this q poll method is going to hit null so it will exit out of the while loop at which point we've done and we just return the node cool out of a dechi <laughs>